Welcome back to the channel, Donnie D here. So today I have another how much and how long kind of project here. This project I did early 2021, so these re prices will reflect then and, and so on. So this is the shower before, a couple before shots here. Basically I'm gonna go through the whole thing here and at, towards the end, if you wanna skip it up to you, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you you know how much time I have into it and what the client invested and so on. So I'm just gonna go through everything here and just comment it as it comes along. Here's the shower, looking like before. So we converted this into a steam shower and so on. So this is everything demoed out down to the framing, get on a concrete slab. A lot, a lot of work in this one. A lot of time, a lot of time in this one to prep it right. Pour concrete, pour it in there, fill it in, able to get to the drain there. Uh, special foam shims to get the walls nice and flat for the tile. Here's the wall bore going up, 100% waterproof. And then here's everything uh, waterproofed. Everything all sheet membraned up, completely sealed. Good to go. This is you know water and vapor tight. And here's my lines. I took pictures. I always like to do that for the flood test. When I come back the next day, I could see how much evaporating. A lot of times it does evaporate a little bit, but you know within about a sixteenth or an eighth, usually fine. Here's all the tile going up. We uh, the client decided on a nice porcelain tile, which was what you want to use for a steam shower porcelain. And these are twelve by twenty fours rectified. That's what it looks like and everything is, is all said and done. Nice little backsplash there with mosaics, brand new vanity. That was a real hard one getting in, but the client actually gave me a hand with that. Thank you for that, Vincent. And here's everything looks like done. I didn't handle the glass door. The client has someone come in and do that. I pretty much handled everything else except for the painting in the bathroom. All the fixtures, tile work, electrical. Everything all laid out, came out really nice. A lot of time in there to get everything laid out just right with the backsplash there, the two uh, lighted mirrors and two mirrors above that. So basically what I'm gonna do now, guys, is kind of go over what this project took, how much time I have into it and so on. So as far as days go, I, I have a total of 28 days. Now that said, I actually had to go back the project you know a few times before I started about two or three and then a couple times afterwards actually two to do some little things here and there <clears throat> but overall 28 days you know deducting those and then as far as hours go I have a total of 203.75 so nearly 204 hours on this project um, so that's the hours that's the days the total price of the job to actually charge the client with all the work that I did, I handled my subcontractors and so on, was 24,025, so $24,025. That said, at the time, this was in early 2022, and I'm recording this in late 2022, uh, when I bid the job in 2021, actually, <clears throat> Um, I definitely made some mistakes and I'll take fault for that as far as what I priced the job uh, I definitely underpriced this job. It should have been a lot more money actually And by the time I got done with it, I didn't even hit my number. So I'm lucky. I actually stayed in business After this project, I mean I still made some but by the time I paid my expenses all that You know, it's it wasn't enough at the time. So what I bid for the job wasn't correct I'm not sure percentage wise how much it more would be like this job was about 24,000 but it would be a way way more than than I charged a client at the time so but hey you live and you learn you do the best you can the job came out great clients are happy I'm happy everything went well as far as the job I mean it definitely took longer than I you know anticipated that's why I didn't hit my numbers the clients got what they want everyone's happy they got a nice steam shower and so on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about this project, feel free to write in the comment section below. I, I check the comments every so often and we'll go from there. Uh, anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Donnie D, signing off.